not to be afraid of what's to come. So in the dream, I was surrounded by complete strangers and I was at this party at this house outside in the yard and everyone around me was just eating, drinking, dancing, you know, having a good time. And then out of nowhere, the host of the party, he got on the mic and he said, they're coming. It was like an announcement. He got off of the stage and started walking through the crowd. And as he passed in front of me, I stopped him and I asked him, what did he mean? They're coming. And he said, the people with the guns. And he had passed me up into the crowd. So I continued to just walk around and observe and everything. And then a few minutes later, he came back and he said, they're here. And everybody started looking around confused. And then gunshots started ringing out. And you started seeing people fall to the ground and people were screaming and everyone just took off running in different directions. As soon as I started seeing the bodies hitting the ground, I took off running the opposite direction. So I got to the end of the driveway and there was this fence leading into the next yard. And so I looked over the fence because I was going to jump the fence or run around the fence to get to the next yard. And they had gunmen running from that direction, too. I saw two more. So I had turned back around and I went the direction I had just came and I bumped into this young dude. He was about 18 to 20. And he pulled out this gun on me trying to shoot me thinking I was one the enemies but we were both just running for our life we were both just bystanders but we wrestled with each other over that gun because i didn't want him to shoot me and i grabbed the gun out of his hand and so the guy was like don't shoot don't shoot and i was like i'm not gonna shoot but you don't shoot me either and he said okay okay and then i handed him the gun back and he took back off running and i went back the direction i was going and i knew that we both was just trying to make it out of there alive because there was bodies bleeding out all over the ground surrounding us in this yard so i keep going and once i was about to turn the corner i heard footsteps coming from around so i was looking around trying to see what can i do what can i do where can i go and there was nowhere to go so i just dropped to the ground on my stomach and i laid there and i played dead like i had to really think on my feet and think fast so i just turned my head away so he couldn't see that i was still alive and breathing and i was trying to hold my breath so a few seconds passed i could still hear the footsteps getting closer and closer until it was right above me so now i'm just holding my breath still and like i'm running out of air so i woke up and i could not breathe like i was actually holding my breath in real life because the dream was that vivid and that's what caused me to wake up because i was actually running out of oxygen in the real world of course my heart was beating off fast and i was realizing like that was all a dream but he allowed me to experience that and witness that terror because whenever the elect is on earth even though we're going to be protected we're still going to be witnessing death and all the terror that's going on in the world psalm 91 verse 7 it says a thousand may drop dead right next to you or ten thousand may fall right at your side but nothing bad will happen to you that's why it's so important that we repent and turn to jesus in this time because you want to have that coverage whenever the judgment is coming on earth and along with the war there's going to be a famine in america so just make sure y'all are racking up on non-perishable foods and bottled water in this moment while it's still early and also so we need to read Proverbs chapter 10 because it talks about deliverance from death and famine through righteousness. And once you and what the Lord name is is Yahweh, the Savior is Yahweh Shah, his son. You know, but this goes back to what he said in the beginning. But I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. You know, um, they had a warning, right? In his in his vision, his dream, there was a warning first. And they didn't take heed to the warning. They were told these people are coming. The people with the guns are coming. And they see now me, somebody, if I'm at anywhere with a lot of people and somebody say somebody is coming with a gun, we leaving. If I'm there with my family, get your shit. Let's go. We gone. I don't care if it's a prank. I don't care. We're gone. I'll tell you about this one time. We was at a theater. And I'm so bad when it comes to this that when you sitting down watching the movie, the movie getting to the best part, getting to the good part. You know, you pay to get into the theater. You pay some good money too, especially if you're getting drinks and food. And you sitting here watching this movie that just came out. I've seen some people walk up, you know, because you're like, you're in the theater and you're in your seat. Now, your seat may be up at the end, it might be at the back, and you might be up higher in their stairs. I've seen some people walk up the stairs and then they stopped they didn't go to, directly to their seat to sit down or anything they just stopped at the stairs they looked around they was just standing there then i seen them looking back at people which I, I was behind them too so i seen them looking back at people but the whole time they just sitting on the stairs and it's completely dark in the theater i look down i say man what are they doing they leave they walk back down they leave out around the wall 
Then they come back and then they get back on the stairs again. They just stand in there. This ain't people that work there. This just re regular people. You know what I did? I said, told my wife, I said, hey, get your stuff. She said, well, we're in the middle of a movie. I said, get your stuff. We gone. I ain't got no time for this. I ain't got no time for nobody coming in here. And you have to see the signs, man. This is real life. This is not Grand Theft Auto. This is not a video game. You can't play with your life, man. It's better to be safe than sorry. It's better to always be defensive. These are things that I learned at a young age, man. So in his dream, I said, never mind. Okay. So in his dream or his vision, they had warning, but they didn't leave. They didn't go. Now, in the spirit, this revealed to me the warning about the truth. What we've been teaching. Why there's so many videos, or why there's so many brothers on the highways and byways in the camp, why so many brothers coming into this truth. People have the warning. The prophets are out there teaching, man, and giving the warning. But some people aren't listening. Some people aren't hearing. And it's going to be too late. This reminds me of Matthew 25, right? And I'm going to get straight to the point because you know about the 10 virgins, right? Five of them had oil five of them didn't have oil ran out of oil right but get straight to the point right which is verse nine but the wise answer saying not so lest there be not enough for us and you but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves and while they went to buy the bridegroom came they weren't ready and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut and after came also the other virgin saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. See, this is why you have to really be in this truth and really believe, man. And faith without works is dead. You can't just, you caught up in the camp shit. You caught up in the beef and the, the competition, man. You got to get ready, man, or you're going to get left behind. But he answered and said, verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore. For ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Now going back to my hometown, which is Springfield, Illinois. Right now, Springfield, Illinois is being judged and visited by the Lord. Within just the last couple months, we had a black lady that went viral all over the world that was shot and killed by a police officer after she said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Just like he just said the name of Jesus, right? She was shot and killed. Just a week ago, or a couple days ago, we just had another black man that was gunned down, shot by the police. We just had a drunk officer hit somebody, you know. We just had um, um, a man get um, abused by the police that was arrested. And while he was arrested, you know, he had to go to the hospital and everything. He survived, but they let a dog out on him. And the dog, he was like three cops holding him down on the ground beating them and then they let a dog out and i guess the dog must have you know ran up to him and that, that's that, that's frightening imagine three grown men beating you holding you down and then somebody let out a gigantic german shepherd trained and 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 then just let them pretty much out on you just to go and maul you damn near to death and you got to go to the hospital you know but i'm just speaking for myself you know and, and me and kwana you know we've been out there on the highways and byways, we was warning the people, teaching, trying our best to wake people up, but they ain't want to hear it. But now that is a judgment coming down on Springfield, Illinois, we're seeing like a lot of brothers messaging us, contacting us, asking us, okay, so what's going on with this? Bible? This whole, this is what they say. What's going on with this Bible stuff? Okay, what's going on? Y'all, y'all be on, y'all be out like downtown teaching. What's going on? Like, what's the Lord's name? See, now they coming to get the oil. Because judgment is coming. But guess what? For some of them, it's going to be too late. And for some of them, they going to get in at the last hour, man. And you just got to deal with that. But some of them, it's going to be too late, man. They going to they gonna go to and fro. Like the famine of the word is coming in fast. They going to go to and fro looking for, for this word and this truth. When things get harder. You got inflation. You got people losing their jobs. People ain't got no money. The price of everything going up. Small businesses are being destroyed left and right by the economy. And people are going to look for this truth. But guess what? The door going to be shut on a lot of people. 
you got to get the warning. That's what I get from his vision. You know, they didn't leave. They didn't adhere to the warning. They weren't ready. And that's why a lot of them got gunned down in his vision. And the dude standing over him, who knows? Maybe maybe he got gunned down, but he woke up before. But it could have all been avoided if he would have took heed to the warning and got the fuck up out of there. Revelations 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not her plagues. That's the warning. You got to come up out of her spiritually. And we going to come out of her physically. We gonna go into the wilderness, and we gonna come up out of the people. We gonna go into the wilderness of the people, meaning that the Lord gonna take us from amongst the cities and from the people, and bring us into the wilderness. And then the Lord gonna take us out of America completely once it's destroyed, and take us back to the promised land, man. You gotta come up out of this place, man. Right now, all you could do is come up out of it spiritually, mentally. Right? Are you gonna be caught up in it? You know, when the MOTB come, what are you gonna do? If your heart and spirit is in this place, you don't want to lose your job. You don't want to lose your family. You don't want to lose your money. You got to come up out of it. You got to be prepared to let all that stuff go, man. Because the day is coming. That's the warning. The Lord is coming, man. So you got to be prepared mentally. And then the Lord going to do things physically, man. <laughs> the Lord going to put a lot of people to death. Because if there's evil in the city, who does it? The Lord does it. The Lord controls good and evil. So you can't blame it on like we were saying there was a demon over Springfield. Maybe there is a demon over Springfield. But the demon is the Edomite police officers and sheriff's office. Those are the demons. The Lord controls them though. The Lord controls everything. So that's the warning, man. Follow the Lord to the best of your abilities. So you could be a part of so you could be elected for salvation. Don't take the mark. And be prepared for what's about to come. With that, salvation to the election, everyone.